What's going on guys? It's Neil from Talk and Review and uh, today we're going to continue the series of the Umbrella Academy. So Nick's already done episodes one and two so I'm going to pick up episodes three and four. Just before I start on sort of how I've uh, you know the ins and outs of episode three I just thought I'd give you my overall thoughts of what I'm thinking of the series so far. I do hear a lot of people actually that have uh, when I've mentioned that I've been watching the Umbrella Academy uh, that they watched the first episode and they just sort of gave up on it because it's not really your typical type of comic book uh, TV show like your Marvel TV shows. So this episode is centred more around the CCTV footage that was found at the end of episode two. So basically there was CCTV footage found uh, which may have implicated uh, Mother or Grace into the murder of uh, the father. Um, so there is a, a meeting then uh, put together between the Umbrella Academy uh, to figure out what they're going to do about it. Uh, the team is split down the middle. Half of them uh, want to turn mother off uh, because she might pose a risk uh, and the other people are like no we need to, she's our mother uh, we need to keep her alive uh, because she's our mother at the end of the day. So there's that conflict going on there there's a bit more development in the relationship between uh, Vanya and Leonard. Going to be honest, uh, Leonard does, to me at this point in the story, seems like he's going to be a dodgy character. Willing to put a fiver on it. Just seems a bit like weaselly, like a bit like he's got like an ulterior motive. Got my eye on you, Leonard. Number five continues the investigation to find out uh, who owns this eye uh, the end of the second episode led to a bit of a dead end but he's still you know, he still think there's more to it so he's still, still chasing that lead up uh, while he's following that lead up there is a really funny scene with Klaus where he just comes out with like this random thing about him uh, waxing his bum hole with uh, chocolate syrup which was interesting and actually happened in stitches Char Char and Hazel are still trying to figure out who, um, where number five is. Uh, they get a little bit of uh, a lead from uh, the waitress at the donut shop. Uh, Hazel wants a piece of waitress. So I think Hazel's got a little bit of a thing for the waitress. So it'd be interesting to see uh, where that develops going on uh, further down the plot. So at the end of the episode, Hazel and Char Char follow the lead that they got from the donut waitress and make their way to the Umbrella Academy. So they break in looking for number five and they come across Diego who instantly start, they start shooting at Diego and then what follows is an absolutely top notch action set piece. It's got everything in it. It's got fighting, it's got shooting, nice use of weapons, nice little bit of comedy in there because Klaus has just got out of the bath and he's got his headphones on and he's still wandering around like completely oblivious as to what's going on. Ben's shouting at him to try and get him to uh, to realise what's going on. He's completely oblivious. The fight's all kicking off, like left, right and centre. There's gunfire going off. There's some nice fights in there between... Uh, Hazel and uh, Luther at the end which ends with Luther getting a chandelier dropped on him then Hazel and Char Char get out of Dodge and then the end of the episode uh, Luther is still underneath the chandelier he stands up his shirt comes off and it reveals that he's this big gorilla thing underneath his shirt he runs off all embarrassed uh, because he thinks that the team are going to think less of him uh, because of the way that he looks um, and then the episode ends with uh, Diego finding mother upstairs who's been damaged and then they, he basically deactivates her um, and that's the end of the episode. So I really like this episode. I really, really like the way that the, the, the series is going. Uh, as I said at the beginning of the video, this is really is top notch. Um, it did take me by surprise this one because I've not really heard of it. Um, as Nick said um, in episode one, of the reviews is that we've both gone in blind on this and I've been really pleasantly surprised. Like I say, it's probably one of my favorite series uh, wise since Heroes. I thought that was a masterpiece. This looks like it's shaping up to be the same. So I'm really excited to see the way that this series goes. Let us know what you thought of the episode below. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. 
uh, and let us know what you thought of the episode. What, uh, no spoilers in the comments, please, because we want people to enjoy going forward. If you want to talk about this episode in the comments, go ahead. Uh, but obviously, if you want to talk about any future episodes or any sort of spoilers, leave that for the episode that that particular spoiler happens. Thank you. Take it easy, guys.